And it seems like happy trails to Juan Soto, Andrew. So, hey, good news for you as a Mets fan. Nats ain't doing shit for the next at least six years. Um, Juan Soto has rejected, just flat out said no to the Washington Nationals on a, an extension. Not going to say I didn't expect it because I did, but part of me was like hoping just like, ah, come on, just. Let's see how you feel, you know? Like, hey, maybe he, maybe we, maybe the money is enough. Well, apparently the no. money wasn't enough in this case. Nope. Um, So, Nationals offered Juan Soto a 13-year, $350 million extension, and the outfielders said, nah. These are reports coming out now from before the lockout. The offer was made before the work stoppage and was intended to start the season, but did not include deferred money. Uh, had it materialized, Soto would have earned an average salary of almost $27 million until the year 2034, until he turned 36. Not a bad bag. Uh, but nope, it's not happening. As a Nats fan, I am very sad <laughs> because Juan Soto was like, but Juan Soto, I should say, was like the last bit of hope that I had it like, okay, there is a light at the end of this tunnel for sure. Because I mean he's a great player. Uh future MVP, I think. But this, I mean, this news means like I'm okay. He's gonna get a bag and it's just not gonna be in DC. And mm -hmm. we're we're gonna draft okay for the next like, you know, five, six years, and hopefully down the line we'll build a team. But yeah, if you're a Nats fan, don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. Uh, invest in season tickets for the twenty like twenty eight season though. That's going to be a good season. Uh, Andrew, what what's your reaction to this news about Juan Soto rejecting the Nats offer? I'm not really surprised. I'm kind of pissed off though because I know my team's not going to go get him, but I know he's going to end up in New York. Just not my team. That's yep. the, yeah, pretty much. New York or L A. It's it's yeah. one of those things that he's like, he's going to New York or L A. Or he's, he's going to not do my the... team. He's not going to my New York team. I nope. can tell you that he's going to go nope. to the one that's going to and my, my New York team can afford to pay him. We just won't. He's going to go to the other one with the two hundred foot fence in right field where he's going to hit fifty home runs a year. Hey man, who knows? He could he could pull a fast one and do. Uh, who who was it? It was uh, it was um. Who, uh, who's that guy from the Orioles? Um, Manny Manny Machado. No, Manny Machado. Machado. Remember Manny Machado? He's like he took his bag. He took his bag to the West Coast, but he was like, "I'm going. I'm going to San Diego. I'm going to make that my team." And it's like oh, immediately regretted that because he's like, "Fuck, we suck." Well, it was a slap in the face because he got traded to the Dodgers and literally yeah. was like, literally and then he literally told the Dodgers, "Fuck off. I'm going to go get a bag, but I'm going to go sign with your rival." And that was, you know, that was that. Hey everyone, we hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Until next time, keep it real.